immigration is the act of something moving from one place, typically over a long distance, and integrating into another place. Uh, now, humans have been immigrating for thousands of years, uh, be that to escape tragedies at their homeland or find new opportunities elsewhere. There have been a lot of reasons for it, but uh, immigrants have always had somewhat of an effect on other cultures of the world. And sometimes immigrants aren't always welcome to where they go. If we take post-World War II Europe, for example, uh, pretty much the country was destroyed, both Russia and uh, England, after World War II. Uh, and they both were faced with a lot of people suddenly out of, out of home, out of pe places they love, and so they were forced to emigrate. But, interestingly enough, they had enough people that also immigrated to these places, and it was basically immigrants that helped rebuild Europe. And it's not just in that thing. Immigrants oftentimes bring their cultures, their religions, they bring their tools and skills to a country, and I guess you could say that's what they bring, and that's what oftentimes influences other cultures. So what happens when a country is less than accepting of strangers. So, why deter immigrants? What's, what's in it for the country? And, unfortunately, America does have quite a long history of keeping others away just by claiming to be a country for everyone. Uh, and the technical term for this is known as xenophobia. It is the fear of aliens, of those not indigenous, I suppose. Which is interesting since 75% of everyone living in the United States descends from immigrants. Um, whites coming from the European settlers and African Americans coming from the uh, African American slaves that were brought here. Now, the xenophobia is generally for a main number of reasons. Some people just don't want to integrate with other cultures. Other times it's for... It's to maintain ethnic and political dominance. And we see a lot of that anti-immigrant sentiment stemming from xenophobia, especially in this day and age. So can I ask what your name is? My name is Dennis Arqueta. All right. And uh, where are you from? Um, I'm from Houston, Texas, but my family originates from El Salvador. El Salvador. So, if so what were some difficulties, if any, of being of coming to a new country from Salvador to the United States? Well, um, I can speak on behalf of my family's experience that it was a very difficult situation getting used to a new environment and new society standards, especially being that they were mostly only fluent in one language and continuously practice another language in order to be able to thrive in this country. And so, why do you think that so many Americans are afraid of immigrants? I believe they're afraid of immigrants because they um, carry an essence of wanting to survive to their best in an environment that isn't suitable for them or wasn't built with them in mind. And to see them be as successful or even more successful than them may feel like a threat to them. And it isn't typically a good feeling when someone feels that they are being challenged. So, what role do you believe the media plays um, towards immigration and immigrants? I believe the media tries to show one side of the story, and as you don't see many immigrants being interviewed, especially in the U.S., uh, 
whether it be to language barriers, which always can be worked around with an interpreter, or they mainly focus on what people with power within the country think of immigrants and the common everyday Joe of the U.S. So going with the uh, higher up, so uh, with President Trump's uh, current inauguration, how do you feel about the uh, U.S.'s policy, uh, how it's going towards uh, treating immigrants and the whole wall deal? I believe the U.S. is handling the situation poorly in regards to its um, manner in which it calls attention to the issue. And they always seem to just work around the topic and never really address the audience which it is speaking to and doesn't find accommodations in for the people that don't fit that mold and maybe are presumed to face that situation. Yeah. And then, so for my final question here, why do you think people would willingly sneak into a country illegally and do you believe that's really as big a problem as people like to make it out to be? From what my family has been through, I can say that the reasoning behind wanting to come to a different country is to flee from a place that doesn't offer you any tranquility or any security. And they do that in hopes that they can find a better life in a place that is new to them. Kind of that saying of finding a new fresh start. And learning that you aren't really wanted or aren't accepted is really scary for immigrants because they don't foresee that happening when they choose to do so. So for American residents or citizens to express fear or hatred towards immigrants is really not what America says it stands for. It says it stands for every kind of person. The U.S. is known as the global melting pot for people due to us seeming to accept every kind of person, even though right now that seems like a completely different situation. So it's saying one thing and then we're doing another. Yeah. All right. So thank you very much for your time. You're welcome.